This video is brought to you by EvangelistaSports.com, Canada's largest online soccer retailer. Be sure to use coupon code SR4U at checkout for 10% off any order of $75 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you an unboxing plus on feet video of the Adidas Predator LZ2 in the brand new Samba Pack colorway. Now as you can see inside the box, all they include are the shoes themselves. You do not get any extras at all. So I'll get the shoes out of the box, get this box out of the way. And if you guys could take a quick second to leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated. So here is a look at the Samba Pack colorway on the LZ2. Um, as you can see, the upper is predominantly pink. It's listed as Vivid Berry. It's a shade of pink we've seen from Adidas in the past. Um, it's not a particularly light pink, and for that reason as well, I wouldn't say that it's as loud as a pink shoe could be, but at the end of the day, it is pink after all. So if you're not looking for uh, something that is going to really stand out from the crowd, I'd probably stay away from this particular colorway of the LZ2 altogether. You have your white logos here in the Adidas stripes on both the inside and outside of the shoe, as well as a white Predator logo on the back of the heel. The laces are lime green as you can see, and of course you have that Samba Pack pattern going up the tongue on the inside of the liner as well as on the insole. Now one of the differences that I noticed between the Samba Pack LZ2 and the standard LZ2 is the tongue itself. Now you can see on a standard LZ2, this is the Tribute Pack colorway that I have right here, the tongue is made out of Hybrid Touch Synthetic, one single layer, memory foam insert in the middle, and then there's just a little bit of extra material here covering the seam right at the edge of the tongue. Now if you look at the Samba Pack colorway, it's still made from Hybrid Touch Synthetic, but you have an extra layer to make this pattern on the outside of the tongue, and you can see that you have two fairly bulky layers stitched together here at the end, so there is a little bit of extra bulk to the tongue on the Samba Pack LZ2, but for the most part it's not really going to change the performance of the shoe, but I did think was still worth mentioning. Now as far as the overall performance of the shoe goes, if you would like more information on that, be sure to check out the full written review on my website linked down below in the description, soccerreviewsforyou.com. It will give you a ton of extra information that you may not get from this particular video. So like I said, if you're interested in learning more, I strongly recommend checking out that full written review. Now as far as the upper goes on the LZ2, it's made out of what's called Hybrid Touch Synthetic. It's a synthetic material that Adidas uses on both the new Adi Zero as well the Nitro Charge 1.0. And it's a synthetic material designed to mimic the natural feel of leather. Although it doesn't quite get that leather-like feel in my opinion. It's a little bit thinner than a leather would actually be. It still feels very, very soft. It's flexible and it does have a slight ability to stretch, which is somewhat unique for a synthetic shoe. And it's definitely a nice synthetic overall in terms of the feel that you get on the ball. But that's not really why you buy a pair of Predator Lethal Zones. You buy them for the Lethal Zones themselves and there are five in total on the LZ2. You have your dribble zone on the outside, you have your first touch zone on the top, your sweet spot here on the instep, your drive zone or your main striking element going across the front, and then of course your passing element here on the inside. All of these elements are made from the same type of rubber material that have different patterns and different textures to them, providing more grip on the ball essentially. That's really the main takeaway for the LZ2. So if you don't like having a lot of extra grip on the ball, I would stay away from this shoe altogether. But if grip is really your thing, then you're going to love the feel of the LZ2. It's definitely a very unique shoe, and there really isn't much else like it currently out there on the market. I'm not a huge fan of having a lot of grip on the ball, but I have to say that I really do enjoy wearing the Predator LZ2. So you do have your off-center lacing system, as you guys can see, with the laces being pushed slightly to the outside. And as mentioned earlier, there is a memory foam insert through the tongue itself, making for a little bit of added comfort. There's an internal plastic heel counter, which you can't see, but it is there. A nice, decent high cut here in the ankle area, so a very supportive feel as well. The inside heel liner is a synthetic leather material, completely smooth, um, and provide some decent comfort. There's also some nice padding there. The insole is fully removable, as you guys can see. It says Predator right there. You got your My Coach logo right there as well. Of course, it does have the Samba Pack pattern on top. It's pretty much just a standard mesh covering on the insole. And then the insole itself is just one single layer of foam. Not too thick, not too thin. Um, just thick enough to provide some decent step in comfort. But to be completely honest, it's nothing special as far as insoles go. And then moving on to the outsole itself, you can see it does feature a sprint frame construction. Mine is, of course, um, the external heel counter. 
very similar to what you're going to find on the Adi Zero in terms of how it's constructed, especially the back half of the shoe where you have your four heel studs and then of course your My Coach cavity in the middle. But it features a slightly thicker, more flexible plastic or different type of plastic here in the forefoot where you do have your all triangular studs. Um, and overall, it's going to perform pretty well on firm natural grass plane surfaces. Um, so that's pretty much it as far as the technical specifications for the shoe itself. And move on next to a quick weigh-in so you can get a better idea as to how lightweight these guys are. What's great about the LZ2 is that it has a very solid and supportive feel considering the lightweight construction of the boot itself. So I'm going to weigh this pair for you today in real time. Keep in mind that this is a brand new pair in a size 9 US. I'm going to throw it on the scale. And you can see that these guys weigh in at 8.2 ounces. So right at that 8 ounce mark. And like I said, very lightweight for a shoe that feels this solid. And also provides some decent protection against impacts from other players. Um, so that's pretty much it as far as the weigh-in portion of this video. And move on next to a quick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how these shoes fit and what the sizing is like. Alright, here's a look at the LZ2s on feet. And I have to say, I really like how this shoe fits. It's nice and comfortable, it has a very deep fit about it, and the way that the lacing system works with the upper, it really does wrap your foot nicely when you pull the laces tight, keeping everything securely in place inside of the shoe. In terms of stretching, you will get some decent stretching out of the Hybrid Touch Synthetic Upper um, in certain areas. Things to keep in mind is that the forefoot area features the sweet spot element right here at the base of the sole plate as well as the dribble element right here at the base of the sole plate and those two areas in particular aren't really going to give all that much just because the rubber isn't going to stretch so just keep that in mind um, in terms of width though I would say that it is a moderately wide fitting shoe so as long as you don't have particularly wide forefoot um, you shouldn't have any issues fitting into the LZ2 whatsoever. In terms of sizing, I'm wearing my usual size 9 US here. And the fit and the length is pretty good. Um, and I would definitely recommend staying true to size for the best possible fit. Um, so that's pretty much it as far as the on-feet portion of this video goes. And I'll leave you to my final thoughts. Alright guys, that's it for my unboxing of the Predator LZ2 in the Samba Pack colorway. Overall, the LZ2 is a fantastic shoe, and I have to say, out of all the releases in 2013, this is definitely one of the ones that really surprised me in terms of how much I came to love this shoe once I started wearing it. So again, it's not for everybody, but if you're into having a lot of extra grip on the ball, you're definitely going to like the feel of the LZ2. I'll leave a couple annotations on screen to other LZ2 related videos that I've made. Um, and also, be sure to check out the full written review on my website, as I mentioned earlier, link down in the description. On that review page, not only will you find that full written review, but you also find the Buy It Now links with the best prices online, including exclusive SR4U coupon codes. Get yourself some additional discounts if you are interested in ordering a pair of these for yourself. If you have any questions regarding the LZ2, be sure to leave a comment down below. And also, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information down below in the description. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, thanks for watching.